the NHS is really good at lots of things. The one thing it's not really good at is saving lives, unfortunately. We have some very bad metrics on that front if you've got any serious diseases. And a lot of that, I think you're quite right, is long term. Uh, it's not been, look, it's, it's not not had funding. It's funding even when there was austerity under Cameron. It did go up, but it didn't go up by as much as it gone up under Blair and Brown. That is a simple fact. And at the same time, people were getting older and people were getting fatter and they needed more health care. So it was, it, in that respect, it was, uh, it was uh, but what you, the, the doctor just mentioned there, um, this big issue about bed blocking, it's a horrible term, but basically one in seven patients in our hospitals right now um, don't need to be there. Um, they are elderly often, they need to be somewhere else, and those beds be freed up, and as you say, there's a knock-on effect for all the hospital wards, all the way back to A&E, all the way back to getting an ambulance, and you, you expressed surprise at a four-hour wait. Um, a member of my family who had an accident was told it would be a six-hour wait, and he had a broken pelvis, which has, a, I'm told, a 25% death rate. Um, so that is the dire state we're in. But here's an idea. Maybe it would be a good idea not to have sacked 40,000 uh, social care workers who worked the whole way through the pandemic because they didn't choose to get the vaccine, I believe, in personal uh, bodily autonomy, autonomy, and that shouldn't have happened. But also, if you're going to have a national insurance rise to pay for social care, maybe give some of that money to social care. We are not going to fix anything in our NHS until we actually start paying care workers properly, funding care homes properly, and funding the people who are actually giving the care in people's homes that not only allows them to leave hospital when they had their treatment, but also not to go into hospital in the first place. It is a Cinderella service and it's about time we actually started spending the money on the social care. It's not glamorous, it's not a big glamorous hospital or a new cancer unit, but it will actually save lives.